Eyewitness News is covering the economy now. A positive business outlook for electric boats. We learned the U.S. Navy contractor is adding hundreds of jobs this year. That's some good news for Rhode Island. As some of those jobs will be created right here in the Ocean State. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in our studio with the details new at 530. We've known and reported on Electric Boat's new contracts for new submarines, but today was a chance to see how many jobs that means for Rhode Islanders, not just this year, but even 10 years from now. With the attention of the state's governor, two senators, and two U.S. representatives, Electric Boat's president lays out the future of the company, including jobs for Rhode Islanders. It's, I think, something Rhode Island ought to be awfully proud of. They play a very prominent role in this country's construction submarine industrial base. At its yearly legislative update, Electric Boat emphasized how new contracts will impact jobs at Quonset Point and the state. This year alone, the company plans to hire 1,800 new employees, 300 at Quonset. Plus, with an order for a dozen Ohio-class replacement submarines on the way, it could mean the company has a total of 18,000 employees by 2029. At Quonset, it means the jobs could jump from 3,600 now to well over 5,000 by 2020. Add in the fact that Electric Boat uses more than 100 Rhode Island suppliers, it means good news for the ocean state. I expect that number is going to continue to grow rather dramatically, which is obviously it's good for us, it's good for Rhode Island. U.S. Senator Jack Reed, the senior Democrat on the Senate Armed Services Committee, is a key part in winning funding for the new subs. Uh, submarines are, in my view, one of the most significant operational and strategic advantages that we have in a very complicated and dangerous world. So with some jobs opening up, obviously, in the next decade, how can Rhode Islanders get them? We dive into that topic with the governor on Eyewitness News at 630 on Fox Providence. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.